I think that a lot of times practitioners will miss vasculitis in the sense that we see a lot of different presentations of vasculitis. It could be lesions on the paw pads or lesions on the pinna, or even large lesions on the trunk where there's lack of hair, maybe some crusting. So those sometimes get missed and treated inappropriately, uh, and biopsies really needed to prove what those are. The other big one that practitioners miss that happens a lot is pemphigus foliaceus. Because it's a pustular crusting disease, it looks a lot like skin infection, or looks a lot like allergy. So again, you can be misled by the clinical signs unless you're paying close attention or unless you're doing some cytology and some biopsies.